My guest today is Dr. Ornal Lapo Ajibadi from the West Central Africa Division. Dr. Ajibadi is one of the regional editors for the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists. Overseen by the, Ar the Office of Archive Statistics and Research, this new reference work will feature thousands of entries from around the world on a variety of topics, including articles on mission work. Dr. Ajibadi, thank you so much for joining us on Mission 360 TV today. Thank you for having me. Now, you'll be sharing some stories on um, a few missionaries who served in your division. Yes. Can you tell us a story about these missionaries who served in your division? I would like to tell you the story of how the message came to Nigeria. Great. The first uh, missionary to come to Nigeria was one David Cadwell Babcock. Mm -hmm. He came there in 1914 mm -hmm. with his wife and children. And he settled in a, in a town called Erumu. Eromo is about 16 miles from the capital of present or your state. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, in those days, the various de de denominations shared the territories. So when he came, in fact, when Babcock came, the first missionary for any Christian group had come 50 years earlier. Oh. So relatively, we were late. Oh. So he couldn't get any of the cities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he had to go to a fairly remote place called Erumu. That was where he settled mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in 1914. And within one year, he was able to make seven converts. Wow, And God. from there, he went further north to another place called Shao. There he established a school and trained the first batch of workers, gospel workers. Praise God. Indigenous workers. Mm -hmm. So he established a church there too. While he was there, he was invited to yet another town, about 78 uh, miles to the second city. Mm -hmm. yeah, he went down there. They had heard about the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. He went and preached. And there he had 78 people joining the church at the same time. Wow, that's so amazing. Within, between uh, 1914 and 1915, he was able to establish three churches, mm -hmm. one in Enromo, the second in Shao, the third in Ipoti. So that was what happened. So within this time, he was able to establish. Now he had a school also mm -hmm. and trained local workers, which was very, very good. Right. So that was what he did. And now, in that is western part of Nigeria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Western part of Nigeria. Now, will you believe that today we have a university named after him, Babcock University. Right, right. With a student population of 10,000. Wow. One of the largest Adventist universities in the whole world. That's so incredible. So, I want to thank the Lord for the work that Babcock did. Now, Nigeria is a very big place. Mm -hmm. One missionary is not enough to cover the entire country. Right. Therefore, that was for the West. Mm -hmm. Now, another missionary went to the eastern part of Nigeria. His name was uh, Jesse Clifford. Mm -hmm. He went 1923, mm -hmm. and he established the church there. And the church there has also grown to become a union conference. In fact, there are about 158,000 members right now. Praise and God. Another, a university is built there too, called Clifford University. Also named after him. <laughs> also, also named after the missionary. The third part of Nigeria is the northern part of Nigeria. Again, another missionary went there. His name was J.J. Hyde. Mm -hmm. his, his wife was a, was a nurse. And incidentally, the medical ministry was the, was the best tool to win the the, the, uh, to win the people. Mm -hmm. Now, because his wife was a nurse, he began to treat patients. Within one year, that is 1932, mm -hmm. he was able to treat nearly 9,000 patients. Wow. And through the medical missionaries, they, they were able to win souls. Again, nothing Nigeria too is now a union conference. Mm -hmm. So in Nigeria, we have three union conferences, mm -hmm. one in the west, one in the east, and one in the north. We want to thank God for these three missionaries who came in spite of all the odds, established the church, and the Lord has used them wonderfully. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And that's incredible to hear of yes, how yes. these missionaries were able to reach really the whole country, exactly. or at least try to reach the whole country. Exactly. And that their impact is felt even now, as you mentioned, with the two universities oh, there yes, yes. and just the, the union mission that has been established with exactly. hundreds of thousands of members. That's incredible. Exactly. Now, did they face any challenges while they were there? Oh, Babcock faced some he faced health challenge. In fact he had to be he had to he had to go back in twenty 
1917, mm -hmm. he had to go back because he had a, a disease called sleeping, sleeping, uh, sleeping sickness. He, oh. So he had, to, he had to rush back. And when he was going back, mm -hmm. it was during the First World War, mm -hmm. his ship was torpedo, but oh, God man. saved him miraculously. Praise so that God. was what happened. And um, the, the rest didn't have that problem. But they, 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 they went at the right, uh, they, they, were not, uh, they were not attacked by mm -hmm. They were able to withhold all the, uh, all, all the hazards. But Babcock could not stay long because of disease. Right, right. <laughs> yes. Well, thank yeah. God that they were able to still minister and serve despite oh, yes. any challenges that they might have faced. They did, they did. And the work is still going on. Right, exactly. It, it was a master seed. Now it's a big, big structure. Right. And it's still growing. I want to thank the Lord for them. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Their spirit was really very, their spirit is very, very inspiring. This kind of spirit they had, uh, I mean, it's very, very inspiring. And we wish we could have as many missionaries. Uh, of course, we have become missionaries ourselves. Right, because, exactly. <laughs> was there um, any part of these missionary stories that you particularly found inspiring for yourself? Oh, yes. In fact, all of them, the sacrifice they made. Can you imagine going to a place I mean, you don't eat their food, mm -hmm. you don't know the weather, you don't even know how they will receive you, but because God said go, you, you went. Right. That is most inspiring. And right now, there are still many unentered places in the world, mm -hmm. and we need the spirit they had if right. the work is going to be finished. Right. So the spirit they had to go to an unknown place because God said they should go. That's Abrahamic faith. Right. So we should, inspires me a lot. Definitely. <laughs> and we should all have that faith. If the work should be finished. Right, and it's hearing these stories of mission work that happens throughout the world in the past yes. that inspires me and others to yes. want to finish that work too and continue that legacy exactly, of exactly. missionaries from our past. Exactly. Thank you so much, Dr. Ajibadi, for sharing these stories Thank with us much. today. Thank you very much. Thank Reporting for, for Mission 360, my name is Chelsea Tyler.